Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be demonstrating how I painted this beautiful heart-shaped cave with the rainbow in the distance and the ocean. We're beginning this painting on a 16 by 20 triple primed canvas I found at Michael's. We're using phthalo blue and a large blending brush. A little bit of water, pulling that paint all around the top and the right side of the canvas. Pick up a little bit of titanium white and mix that in with the phthalo blue a little bit so it gets lighter towards the center. Nice soft brush strokes. Pick up turquoise now or aqua green. And I'm using basics acrylic. And you just wanna blend that evenly and gently into the phthalo blue a little bit with the white. and softly around the edges. We're not painting it completely because we're gonna come around with dark green and black. Now taking a medium sized filbert brush and titanium white with a little bit of neon red, just a little bit, we're gonna dab and do soft little circles to create some clouds. Now because we're painting wet on wet, it is normal for it to pick up a little bit of blue and look sort of see-through. We want that look, it, it makes it look more realistic So just keep picking up white and a little bit of that neon red and continue adding clouds wherever you want them to be. Now I'm gonna take more titanium white and softly pull in an arch to start building up the color I need to begin the rainbow. Now again, it's picking up a little bit of blue, but we want this see-through look. So just keep lightly brushing over it. You can't push hard with your brush or it won't work. You'll just be pushing off that paint. So be very light and try to do long full strokes. Soften the edges a bit. Now I'm just adding a little bit of turquoise green to lighten up this area. Taking a little bit more titanium white and neon red, add a few more clouds. Remember not to overblend. Lightly go over them and add some highlights and softly brush back and forth down at the bottom where the horizon line will be. So we're slowly building up the layers. We've got the see-through clouds in the background and we're gonna keep adding little bits of white and neon red, a little bit of turquoise even. Now we wanna take a large blending brush Add some more phthalo blue and turquoise, mix both colors together, and start painting around the left side. And then more phthalo blue than turquoise up on the right side. And now soft brush strokes back and forth along the bottom. Mixing black and sap green together slightly, taking a smaller blending brush, 
wiggle your hand a little bit and create a slightly misshapen heart. Softly pull the paint back and forth around the inside edges towards the edge of the canvas. It doesn't have to be painted solid. You want it to be a little bit see-through in some areas that will help create a bit of a highlight and more natural light coming into this cave. Now I'm using less black and more sap green but I'm not washing my brush off in between. We're also going to be using Viridian Green. Taking a medium sized mop brush, tap it lightly into chartreuse green and a little bit of sap green. You only want the ends of the brush to have paint on them. Line it up just underneath where the cave starts. Tap lightly here and there, creating bushes and moss and grass. It's okay if you go over the line a little bit. Pick up a little more and load that brush each time. Loading your brush up each time, adding the highlights closest to the opening of the cave will help give you that nice contrast that you want. You want to have an equal balance of light and shadow, some light spots and some dark spots, and some that are in between. It's easy to get carried away with highlights, especially when you're having fun using a brush like this. So I'm just adding a few more highlights with chartreuse green, sap green. I'm going to switch to a medium sized fan brush now. Load it with black and sap green. Slightly on an angle, dab and flick. Short little brush strokes creating dripping moss effect out of that cave. little bits here and there wherever you'd like them to be washing out that fan brush switch to a little filbert brush again this time we're going to take viridian green with a little bit of titanium white this is where our brightest highlights going to be You're tapping lightly 
and little short flicks. That makes it look like it's growing over and down the rocks and inside the cave. It just gives it a little bit of movement, but it doesn't look like water. You have to tap a little bit with it so that it doesn't look like it's water. I think it would look really pretty if we added a waterfall down there, but that will have to be in my next tutorial. Let me know if that's something you guys would want me to demonstrate. Okay, let's go ahead and bring a little bit of that titanium white softly over the arch again. Carefully not touching the sides of the cave or you'll pick up some black and, and green paint. Now picking up a little bit more white, some neon red, and some neon orange. We're gonna bring these clouds to life. Dabbing and wiggling, you're gonna add a nice bright highlight. Make sure you don't overwork it or over blend. And a great tip for painting clouds, don't think you have to use just plain white for a cloud. Tint it with another color, either orange, red, and even green. using a little bit more of the neon red and the titanium white. It's giving it a hot pink highlight and it's really pretty. Now I'm using Holbein Luminous Neon Acrylics. So just finishing up the clouds here, there's hardly any paint left on my brush. Slide carefully back and forth, quite quickly down at the bottom. This will help create the illusion that there's an ocean or the sea back there. Then taking turquoise and white, a little bit of phthalo blue. We're going to work on that horizon line. Then you're going to take a little bit of titanium white and brush it, wiggle it right above the horizon. Very lightly, not too much paint on your brush for this. Okay, now we're going to take neon yellow, titanium white, and very carefully and lightly, back and forth, long strokes. Paint most of the white that we have on there for the rainbow. Because we're gonna be layering a few colors over top of it slightly to create another color. So we need that light yellow underneath. Next color. Neon orange, titanium white. You're gonna go slightly above and over top of part of that yellow that you just added before. Now we're taking neon red and titanium white. And the same thing, you're gonna go slightly over the orange and above. washing your brush out. You're going to take some turquoise and titanium white. Now you're going to go over part of the yellow and below. Now you're going to take phthalo blue and titanium white and do the same thing over part of the turquoise and below. Now the next color we're going to use is Neon Violet by Holbein and Titanium White. Brush it over part of the phthalo blue and below. Let's touch up our highlights now that we're finished our rainbow. Back to the Filbert brush with Titanium White and chartreuse green. 
You're going to tap in lightly where you really want those highlights to show up. And maybe where you want to add a few more where it's a little bit too dark in some spots. So now that we've finished our rainbow, it's safe to take a little bit more black and sap green and dab a little bit more hanging moss or vines right by that rainbow. Maybe some along the left side here and around the edges of the canvas to really create some depth and shadow. I think I just want to add a couple more clouds, one down here above the horizon again. So little wiggles, a little bit of titanium white and neon orange. And just softly blend around. This has been such a fun painting to demonstrate and share with you guys today. Let me know how you liked it. Leave a comment below, hit subscribe and the bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.